Mike Rolfs says, Dutch, I saw you do an interview on Boston Wrestling with Dan Mirad. I heard he has died recently, which he has. I always liked Dan. He was one. Uh, he was the one doing all the controversial interviews with guys like the Iron Sheik and Marty Jannetty. I guess he also paid Tony Atlas's mortgage for a couple of months and also bought Tony a computer. Then I guess things went south and Tony started trashing Dan. Did you hear anything about that? So first off, this guy Dan of Boston Wrestling, who died either last year or the year before. Do you remember yeah, working with good- him? No, I remember working with him. I went to a couple of conventions with him and uh, he had a table and he just said, Hey, you want to share a table with me? And I said, yeah, no, no problem. I was close by. And uh, we did one in Atlanta, I think. And we did a, a couple more good guy, a huge wrestling fan from Boston and but I never went up to Bo- I don't know where I did that interview with him. I may have went to Boston and did the interview with him. It's been a long time ago. But he was a good guy. But the story I heard, and I don't even know if it's true. I didn't hear to this this guy. What was his name? Who wrote? Who authored the? Who oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Mike Rolfs wrote this. Okay, Mike. Well. I heard about this just lately that uh, Dan gave him something like $10,000 to do this stuff, to appear a couple of deals or whatever, and he didn't show up. Who's this? And he didn't read. Tony. Tony. He paid Tony. Tony Atlas. Atlas. Right, yeah. Paid Tony Atlas $10,000 was what I heard, and he no-showed him. Now, first of all, I find it hard to believe that somebody would advance anybody that amount of money without some kind of a a clause to it, because he just no-showed. I don't think it was one... Uh, appearance. I think it was several. And then all of a sudden, he didn't want to pay the money back or didn't have the money to pay back. And he, he left Dan holding the bag, kind of. And Dan has passed away. I think he had cancer. Good guy. I always in, enjoyed being around him. I didn't know he was. And I, I probably saw him about, uh, for the people who know what I'm talking about, I, I saw him like in eight years ago, I guess, or maybe more. But if that happened to him, I hate it. And But I don't even know that's true because he never told me that. But I don't know what I would. First of all, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have boasted anybody or boosted anybody 10 grand not knowing they're going to show up. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry you're having a hard time. I'll give you a thousand, but that's about as far as I I can go, you know, unless you're going to sign over something to me in case you don't pay it. 